Today we are going to learn about the calculation with Excel time function. Keep watching till the end. In a quad bike rental company, they do regular charges as $5 per 30 minutes. If the regular time is exceeded for more than 5 minutes, they want to apply extra charges as 50 cents per minute. How they can calculate the total extra charges in Excel? Let's see how to calculate by using Excel time functions. First let us assume the actual used time in minutes. Then convert the actual time into Excel time format, for this we can use Excel time function. Hence, equal, time, the hour argument will be zero, and the minutes argument, will reference to the actual used time, then seconds will be zero. Now change the format again the cell to convert the actual time in hour, and minute. From the format cell window, choose custom format, then mention the hour and minute format as shown. Copy down the formula. Format again as required. OK, now you can see the actual time is converted to the required time format. Next, to indicate the extra time validity, I will use if function. Hence, equal if, the logical argument will be actual time minus, allocated regular time. Greater than 5 minutes, here we have to use time function to configure the output. Then state yes of the true argument, and state no if the argument is failed. Copy down the formula. As you can see here, if the time is exceeded more than 5 minutes it returned yes, it means the extra charge is to be applied for this rentals, otherwise not required. Next. I will calculate the total time where, it has exceeded more than 5 minutes from the allocated regular riding time. For this I will use some product function. Hence, equal, some product, the first array argument will be the actual riding time minus allocated time. multiply, where the extra time taken which is more than 5 minutes. Now it returned me 1 hour and 2 minutes where the total time taken for extra riding. Next, we will calculate the charges for the regular riding, for this we can multiply the number of rentals by $5. For the extra charges we have to multiply the 50 cents with the override total minutes, where 1 hour and 2 minutes. But we need to convert the hours into minutes. Hence, equal, 50 cents multiply, open bracket, then our formula, and select the total override time, then multiply by 60 to convert to minutes. Plus, then add the remaining minutes. And hit enter. Finally add both values to get the total amount earned. Let us change the usage time and see the formula are working correctly. I have changed the usage time from 28 minutes to 36 minutes. This exceeded the grace period, hence the charges will apply for 6 minutes. 
that is $3. So the charges has been increased from $31 to $34. And if we enter time usage within the 5 minutes grace period it doesn't affect the charges. Hope you have learned and enjoyed watching this tutorial, if you did, please like the video, share and subscribe to my channel for more Excel tutorials. Have a nice day.